Until now, I haven't bothered too much with getting more than one AI agent running at once. Honestly, I could barely make one of them work right. But now that I'm slowly gaining confidence in Claude's ability to work on his own and my own ability to be a sort of lion tamer, I'm starting to toy with the idea of letting one more lion into the den. But how does that even work? Like, won't they start stepping on each other's paws? Let me show you a way to make as many claws as you want work on the same thing without losing your mind. Oh, and hey, I'm uh, Miguel. I make uh, apps and sites and open source projects. And uh, yeah, back to Claude. So what's even the problem? Well, when two agents run in the same directory, you can probably imagine how quickly they'll start like running into problems that the other one created. When they start formatting files, editing files, running tests, it's pretty obvious that this will break pretty quickly. Anthropic, though, smart as they are, have already thought about this and set me on a path called Git Work Trees. This is a built-in feature of Git where you can have multiple uh, copies of the same repo, each with their own set of files. So to use it, you just type Git Work Tree and it'll tell you how, I guess. But here's how to also stay sane while you do it. I've written a script called GWT, which is uh, of course short for Git wild Thor stop it <laughs> it's it's getting wicked titted you use it with GWT then a name taking a look inside the script you'll see that uh, it's actually fairly simple and uh, I guess the smart quotes will uh, give away <laughs> the fact that I've been working with the LLMs on this there might even be a em dash in here it just sets up a few uh, variables tries to figure out if your uh, main branch is called main or master uh, then has some shared uh, git work tree commands here and then basically if you're running inside tmux it renames the window if it are running outside tmux it sets up a new session and window instead i'll of course share this and other scripts in the description with the link i guess luck would have it that i already have two issues ready uh for us that i've actually set up with the uh, slash ni command that i mentioned in my previous video uh, one is to convert all slim templates to erb and another one is to convert the remaining view components to flex components so these are like changes that back in the day i would probably postpone this forever or not even feel like, like it was worth my time. But now with agents, I could just like let Claude edit and then I only have to clean up a little bit and then it's ready. So let's set up the first uh, work tree. It's called 7629. So 7629 and if, as you see, I've already done this once. Let's call it Slimless. And after running it, we'll find ourselves inside Tmux in a window and a work tree and a branch, all named the same. And it even works inside Tmux. So let's create another window and call it for the other issue, 7630 Flexmore. And now you see we have two windows we can switch between with descriptive titles. So we always know the context of what we are currently working on and each can have their own Claude. So let's put our guy Claude to work. I have another script for that. So we could just launch Claude and then start typing to him but we can also run Claude with like an initial prompt and some options to already set him on his, the path that we want him to go down so I already know that I want him to work on issue 7629 and I've written a script that helped me start this so um, if we look at the script called Claude start you'll see that it basically just launches Claude with an initial prompt it says start working on issue and then whatever you pass it the number Keep an open mind, feel free to reconsider the proposed approach. Update the issue as you discover new relevant information. After you're done, read through the changes and see if there are things that can be simplified or remove any unused things. Finally, make a PR with your changes. If one exists for this issue, update it, include progress made. So that's the prompt. What I'm trying to go at is like, how can I make Claude run as far and as fast? <laughs> as possible without asking me questions, without me having to follow up with the same things. Like I always want him to uh, go back and look at the changes, see if we can streamline things a bit. So I'll just include it from the beginning and let him rip. 
And also with like slightly larger changes like this, it's nice to have a PR because in GitHub with a PR review, you can write inline comments. And then after you're done, tell Claude to uh, read the review and make changes from the comments that you posted. It's just easier to like reference lines in line. Because we're working now in another uh, working directory, um, even though you've allowed Claude to always run some commands in your like root directory, he's gonna ask again if he can do it in this new work tree directory. So I'll just give him some tools that I know that he can run in the same spirit of like letting him rip and go as far and as fast as he can without me having to help him along. So I'll say you can edit and you can create, those are like built-in actions, but you can also run bash commands if they start with gh, so that's github commands. If they start with rg, find and ls, so these are all like finder methods, information gathering methods, commands rather. And you can also run my bin format and bin check scripts, which I use to format files and run tests and checks and everything. You can also run Rails commands and you can also run git commands. Of course, you can add as, as few or as many as you'd like trust Claude to do. You can also call it with like uh, dangerously, I uh, forget the, <laughs> forget what it's called, but, but there's like a, a flag to let him just go completely nuts with no guardrails. And I'll let you decide if you, <laughs> you're up for it. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with this for now. All right, but that, let's try it. So Claude start seven, six, two, nine in this one. And in the other one, we'll say Claude start seven, six, 30. And now we can switch between the two issues and watch Claude just have at it. Hopefully when he gets to a place where he needs some um, information or he even finds himself being done. He'll let us know and we'll get a terminal bell Doop! and we can go respond to it. While he's working, we can set up new issues. We can even work on code that we want to write ourselves. Like Claude is good for many things, but there are still things like the design wise or small details that you still want to write yourself. So you can do that, of course, in your main uh, TMUX session and only respond to Claude when you find yourself having a tiny break or needing to look at something else. But all the while, he'll work in the background, in the work trees, on his own, running tests, possibly <laughs> causing havoc, but only a little bit. And yeah, that's it. I hope you find this useful if you did maybe click the subscribe thing little, little, little tiny little click and stick around yeah that's it for this time and I'll see you around